So here I am back again at Vassenden, absolutely beautiful weather and if you can hear uh, children it's because they've had a, an, they've in, invited a local children's school here and there's, <laughs> there's about 40 children just running around swinging at the, the golf balls which I think is great. Uh, that's just a beautiful idea that. Anyway, I'm on the first hole and I've uh, not had any swings or anything. So you, you never really know what's going to happen on the, the first shot. All you can do is hope for the best. You know, a professional will actually hit 300 balls before he even hits a shot on the first tee here. But I've, I've no time to be doing that. I'm just going to go straight for it. And you'll see it says stroke index 18. So this is officially the easiest hole on the course uh, but it doesn't always play that way so we see how we go just uh, just gonna enjoy the day today I'm a little bit to the, to the left, but it was a good strike and I'm on the fairway, happy with that. I was actually uh, pretty happy with that because uh, coming to the left actually gives you a good shot into the green because you take this tree out of the picture and now I've got a nice, um, a nice little straight shot into the flag. Now the thing with this first hole is uh, I've learned that it doesn't hold the ball. It, if you land on the green it'll just roll off so the, the thing here is if I can land the ball at the front of the green and let it roll forward to the flag and I'm, I'm actually quite close here and it's, it's actually too near for an ordinary pitching wedge I would go over so I've decided to use my sand wedge and this you normally use only in the bunker but you can use it for shorter shots but it's, it's a little bit nerve-wracking because you, you have to make sure you hit it hard enough in a way because if you don't hit it hard enough it'll just go high and it won't go very far so see, see how it goes I can see the idea worked. I landed on the front of the green and it's uh, rolled forward to the flag there. So on the, on the first hole in two and I think um, I don't know, maybe I've got about eight or nine meters there. It's a birdie chance, but I'm really hoping just to get down in two shots. Now, putting is just not my best thing, really. And uh, my beautiful wife has uh, bought me um, a new um, putter, which I'm waiting for. So for now, I'm, I'll just have to use my old trusty one. 
see see how I can get on. Just do the best I can. Yeah, <laughs> the first putt went a bit too far, a little bit nervous, but I got the second one in, so that's a good start. That's a par. Okay, so hole two. Uh, last time I played here I went a little bit too far but I was still on the fairway so that's okay. Now today um, it's, a it's a difficult decision. Um, if I go with, uh, with my, one of my driving woods here uh, I could actually go too far. And the, if I go too far there's a ditch but I'm not sure I will reach there. I could try a different angle but that means if I don't hit it well I'll go into the water. So. But I'm, I'm kind of catching them well, so I'm going to take a risky shot and I'm going to try and hit over the water. So I really, I hope I don't do a bad one because I've, I've got this really, I've got these really beautiful bright yellow balls today. So I don't really want to lose, they're not so expensive, but I don't really want to lose them. But I'm going to go for it, why not? It was a lovely strike, but it's gone in the water. <laughs> oh, my ball, my lovely uh, yellow ball is somewhere in this uh, area here. Uh, you know, I, I did the classic mistake. I tried to swing hard instead of swinging just smoothly and let the club do the work for you. I tried to swing it hard to make sure I got over and of course I didn't catch the ball well. So that's a penalty stroke there. So anyway my second shot I'm pretty much in the same position I was last time. <coughs> it's a good strike well over the water this time. Uh, using an orange ball. So here they am. Uh, almost exactly the same position as, as last time. So it's just a hit over the trees, trying to hit, hit a little bit more to the right this time. So when that happens and you, you hit into the water, you can either take a drop from, from the area where, the water, where you think the ball went in or you can hit off the tee again and that counts as three shots off the tee in a way, you, you're kind of punished. So that, that counts as I'm three here. So any chance of getting a par on here is finished so I've just got to play the best I can. A little bit disappointing. So I'm just going to take a nine high and play, play for position.
Yeah, happy with that one. So, uh, if I hadn't got in the water, this would be my second shot. But because I had to take a penalty stroke, I'm here for four. But it's a really good position. It's actually the best position to be in. I have nothing in front of me, no trees or anything. And I'm fairly close, so I'm just going to use my Mitsuno 46 degree pitching wedge. I think I can get on with that. So, I hit a pretty good shot there, and I'm fairly close to the flag, really, really happy with that. Now, that I don't, you can't really see it on the camera, but this green slopes down and down and down. So if I hit this too hard, it'll roll all the way down to the bottom of the green there. It's absolutely terrifying putt. If I can get it, you know, within... Uh, 30 centimetres, I'll be happy. Now there's a great example of how your score can be ruined on one hole. You see there would have been a solid par 5 there uh, on the green in 3, 2 putts, 5. I even had a, that was a birdie putt there, literally just a little bit short. And because I was in the water that's a 7, a very ugly 7. Okay, so I just have to try and put that bad hole out of my head and uh, start as if I'm playing well. <laughs> uh, so now the third hole, par three. Uh, last time I played here, I went over the green, so I'm going to go with one, one iron less. Last time I went with a six, I think I'm going to go with a seven this time. Uh, if I get near the green or short of the green, I should be fine. I go with my yellow ball. Okay, so hit over the green again, and I think it's because I caught it thin. Now when you say you've caught it thin, it means you, you haven't quite hit the ball in the middle of the club there. You've hit it more at the bottom, which means it flies forward more rather than up. So I'm going to have to try and hit as close as I can to the flag. I'm just over the green there. Nice pitch there. So I've got that put for a, for a par.
Now I hope you watching that are absolutely ashamed of me because I'm ashamed of myself because that's what you call being terrified of the hole. I only half hit it, uh, you know, just terrified to hit the thing. Uh, so left myself, you know, one didn't get me par, left myself with a really terrifying short one. I got it in, thank God. So that's a four, but I don't know. Okay, to the fourth hole. Uh, the hardest hole on the golf course, need a good drive here. So I'm going to use a cheap ball again. Because if he goes in those the woods there in the forest, that's forget it. It's gone. Okay, my drive was not as long as usual, so I didn't actually catch that one as well. Uh, so my second shot, I'm not as far down as I was last time I played here. Here I am in the slight rough. And I'm a little bit further away than I was, so it's according to the telescope here, it's 118 metres. I'm a little unsure what club to use, it's either 9-iron I'm going to go with a 9-iron, I might be too, I might hit it too far Yeah, so happy with the par on that one, the hard, hardest hole on the course, so that's like a birdie there. Oh, it's really warm today, it's lovely. So, hole five, for me, the scariest hole on the course. It should be the easiest, it says stroke index 12, but I don't know, something about it frightens me. You know, there was a song in the 80s that sort of was about life and it said um, you should do one thing that scares you every day to make you feel alive. Well, this is the one for me. Seems okay. Okay, so it's a better drive than I thought there. It's uh, got a little bit off the ferry, but I have, a nice, I have a nice shot into the flag. It's a very delicate half swing. 
but it's uphill. Uh, give it a try. Just on the edge of the green. Okay, hole six, one of my most favourite holes, although it's really difficult. I really like the design of it. The first time I played here, I hit off the tee into the forest, hit another one, another one, four times into the forest. So I had to get over that fear. But I'm not so frightened anymore. I kind of really like this hole. And this hole, the, the local Norwegian people call this the Tissing Hole. Uh, for the English people, if you remove the T and replace it with P, then you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's because sometimes you get here, you need a tiss, uh, so you go behind the tree over there. I don't, I don't know what women do. Maybe they just cross the legs. Okay, so let's get on with it. Seems okay, a little bit to the left, to the right. Okay, pretty good strike there. I actually went uh, a little bit to the right, but because it's on a hill, it's rolled down towards the middle. Which, so that's something to remember for next time. I can actually aim for this hill, knowing that the ball rolled down. So I've got a lovely uh, path in to the flag there. Let me get out the way. You can see it's, it's a long way and I need a good strike with a six iron. Number six iron. And I'm slightly on an angle. If I'm out of breath by the way, I was on this hill there. I forgot to put the brake on and the trolley went rolling down. I had to run after it. Yeah, there's a, there's a like they say, there's no no fuel like an old fuel. Put your brake on, Arthur, for God's sake. So, if uh, a good strike, I should get on the green, but it's a long way. But I think a five iron would go through the green, you see. It's an absolutely beautiful shot. Oh, it really struck it well. So, I'm really excited to see where that ball has gone from there. Oh my God, wow. Look, at, just let me stop here. Gonna. You see that? Oh wow! One of the best strikes I've ever done. There's a birdie chance. If there was a round of people around here, they would have been clapping their hands at that one. And that's just fantastic. I just knew when I, I just caught it so cleanly. 
beautiful in the air. Look at the result of that. So I've got a putt for a birdie. Now it's slightly uphill. It's about two metres. These are the ones you should get in really. But you know me, the worst putter in the world. Please go in. Many a tear has to fall But it's all in the game Oh dear dear Let's see what I mean. That was a birdie chance. Fantastic shot. Wasted. Okay, got a solid par. Let's hope that new putter improves me. Okay, hole eight uh, should be the easiest hole on the course, in my opinion. I think they've got it wrong on that other one. I think this is the, the easiest one. But it's deceiving because it, because it's easy, you can take it for granted. Uh, like I say, a professional can drive this hole, get on in one. I reckon on a good day I could do that, but I'm just not... I'm not my time is not quite on today. That's how it is. Okay, it's a really nice drive on that one. I was a little bit lucky it rolled up and then come up back onto the fairway. But a pretty decent drive. And I've got a nice shot into the green here. It's very, I'm very close. Only, only uh, going to use my sand wedge again. Maybe 60, 70 metres from the flag. I was a bit too delicate there, it landed a bit short of the green and normally the, the ball rolls here but this time it decided to stop. It's 
So I've got two shots to get a par. So here I am on the ninth hole and just to show you the view from up here I'll just show you so it goes down 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 so this is a not a shot for beginners in this rough here and they've also got to hit over this what's known as a water hazard like a little pond and it's 160 meters to that pond there so you've got to hit it more than that to get over the, to you know to to be safe. You could play short, I suppose, but really you've got to try and clear that. Not a shot for a beginner. I really hope, I really hope you saw that, but that has to be one of the best drives I've ever done in my life. It's absolutely straight as an arrow and far. It's got to be maybe 220 metres there. So here's the here's that water hazard close up. So it's 160 meters. I think it's to the front there. I'm not sure. And I've I've hit the ball way, way, way past it. If you if you actually if you you can actually get caught out by that tree there, you can hit a good shot and hit the tree. But mine actually flew the tree. And I'm right in the centre of the fairway. Wow. Absolutely one of the best shots I've done on this hole. Probably the best I've ever hit, hit a shot on this hole. I've got a straight, straight off shot into the green now. Just a pitch and wedge. I think I'm on the green. Okay, so I'm just off the edge of the green. But I'm not far from the flag. So I'm going to put through the rough, try and get as close to the flag I can.
Nice to finish on a par, two, two putts. Uh, so I've learned something today, you know, I started with a par and I had, um, I thought I'm going to do a great round, you know. You know, I'm, I'm a big Dickens fan and, you know, he wrote a book called Great Expectations. But I think if he was alive today and he played golf, he would write another book called No Expectations. Because I think that's how you have to play golf. You've got to have no expectations. As soon as you start thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to have a great round, things start going against you. It's as though you're trying to make, make things happen but rather than let things happen. It's a lesson for life. Oh, that's it for me for this time. For this, the first nine, is, nine holes is for you and the second nine holes is for me. I can't just give you joy, you know. I can't, can't just play for you lot. I have to play for myself as well. So I'm just going to enjoy the second nine on my own. And uh, you know, I know many golf channels, they, they get sponsored, but I don't get sponsored at all. But uh, when you get halfway round, you do, you do uh, expect to have some, something, something to eat for energy. And I like to use these <laughs> new energy ones, but I'm not sponsored at all. Hey guys.